What's up guys? Tonight we're going to open up these two DeWalt XR 4.0 Battery packs and have a look inside yeah, I've opened one of these up previously But I don't think it was a 4.0 It's pretty shitty quality inside well, Let's see if these are any different I know with DeWalt years ago they used to be made in different places So uh, let's tear into them and see what we got Worst case, we'll just uh, salvage some cells out of them and keep the cases and the boards because uh, every now and again we get uh, tools to come up real cheap from DeWalt here uh, at the uh, hardware shop and some of the electrical wholesalers. The screws go forever. First, these are the ones with the fuel gauge or battery gauge. This one's showing one green light, and this one's showing no. Last time I popped one of these apart, I just used a screwdriver to help me. Just gently get in the corner there. There we go, we're in. So as we can see, it's got some nice red looking cells in there. I'm going to hazard a guess and say that they're Sanyos. And they're, that's the one I did previously, and they're all rusty and screwed. I haven't even bothered processing them, I'll just keep it around. Show you the difference of what's inside some of these cells. Yeah, let's uh, just check them with the multimeter and see what kind of voltage we've got. We should be able to get down in there. So, open across the board 16.56, 3 3.3. 3.3 3.3 well this is looking positive 3.31 3.250 that is very positive let's get uh, the lipo charger on there I'm not going to worry about balancing it we'll just see if we can give it a bump We want 5S because there's 5 cells in series, 2 in parallel. Alright, cool, so that's charging. Up at uh, 2.9 amps. Give that a few minutes and we'll come back to it and see what it's like. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just open up the other pack. Alright, the battery one is still over there happily charging at 2.8 amps. That's uh, Our multimeter involved again. Have a look at number two. Number two's full cell voltage is 13. Four point four five, that's a good one. Not really. Four point three seven. Four point six shit. We got point five volt in him. Nothing in the end one. So the cells are given up. Happen. 
So the diagnosis for that one is those three cells might be savable, but they've probably been baked. That was Anthony. We'll just uh, continue playing with this one for now. Still alright, it's still taking 2.8 amps at the moment. So we might put the lab power supply on it as well and bump that up and see what uh, see what it does when we get it charged. See how out of balance they are. Alright, we got 19.9 volts sitting on there now, so we'll uh, go ahead and 19.7 now. Bring that charger. Bring our uh, voltmeter back in. Let's go. 3.97. Three point nine five, three point nine six, three point nine five, three point nine four. They're maintaining balance and uh, they've charged up nicely. Righto, guys, thanks for watching. This one's a good one. Uh, I might put him back together and keep this one. Uh, may even run some balance leads out of it, like the. Uh, these little ones so you can plug them into a LiPo charger and uh, keep this. If anyone's got any old DeWalt tools that died or whatever and you feel like sending them to me to see what's inside or for me to tear down and have a play with, that'd be cool. Just email me and uh, I'll give you a post office box number. I just want more things to pull apart and play with and uh, branching out into some DeWalt and other brands of stuff would be cool. Uh, I plan on, yeah, I'm going to put this one back together and keep it and uh, next time I see some DeWalt tools on Crazy crazy Special, I'll uh, buy them and we'll have a play. A uh, bit of a torture test, if you will. What I might even do is make a uh, plug that goes on the back of this so we can make it nice and high capacity or even make it so it takes a Milwaukee battery click slide in the back of on the back of this or on a cord to this so we can get some DeWalt tools and uh, push them pretty hard and see what they do that's uh, one thing I want to do with the channel from now on is play with a lot more power tools and uh, cordless yard equipment and uh, now that summer's coming back we'll uh, get the e-bike out and set that back up but thanks heaps for watching guys I'll catch you on the next one um, yeah I'll uh, pull this one down in another video and we'll see if we can save any of the cells in it. See what kind of condition they're in, but uh, yeah, at 13 volts it doesn't even light up its little little battery gauge. It's good that DeWalt have caught up and done that because uh, for a long while Milwaukee was one of the only ones that had them in the front like that. But yeah, while I've been sitting here waiting for it to charge up, I've gone ahead and Processed heap of cells and started charging some cells for uh, the collection, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.